Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Madam Speaker, I, I came here tonight prepared to talk about the place I represent and how well the Democratic and Republican county officials ran our election. I wanted to point out that in my home county of Allegheny County, in the place they were counting the votes, there were 31 video cameras, 31 in the same place, just showing people counting votes, every single one of them on paper with representatives from both campaigns watching. I wanted to point out to all these great lovers and supporters of the Pennsylvania legislature that it was the Republican Pennsylvania legislature that passed a Republican bill that they all voted for and supported that set up the system under which we just ran the election and that the reason the president lost was because he was not as popular as other Republicans in our state. He got fewer votes than all of them. I wanted to lay out all this evidence, Madam Speaker, because I thought it was a sign of respect for my colleagues, for all the Americans out there who don't know who to trust. I was raised on that. I was raised on that respect, which makes this a hard speech for me to give. Because to do this with any kind of honesty means admitting and declaring in this House that these objections don't deserve an ounce of respect not an ounce. A woman died out there tonight, and you're making these objections. Let's be clear about what happened in this chamber today. Invaders came in for the first time since the War of 1812. They desecrated these halls and this chamber and practically every inch of ground where we work. And for the most part, they walked in here free. A lot of them walked out free. And there wasn't a person watching at home who didn't know why that was, because of the way that they look. House will be in order. My point, Madam Speaker, is this. Enough has been done here today already to try to strip this Congress of its dignity. And these objectors don't need to do any more. We know that that attack today, it didn't materialize out of nowhere. It was inspired by lies, the same lies that you're hearing in this room tonight. And the members who are repeating those lies should be ashamed of themselves. Their constituents should be ashamed of them. And we know what's going to happen as soon as I walk away, what's happened all night tonight, what will continue to happen. They will take these same symbols, these same concepts. They'll smuggle them into their arguments. They'll make the same arguments. And I want people at home, anyone who is still watching, to know these arguments are not for them. They're for you. None of the evidence we wanted to discuss here tonight will change their opinions or what they're about to say. But you need to know that's not the end. It's not as if there's nothing we can do because of that. And if there was, I don't think this nation would have made it to almost 250 years. The fact is, Madam Speaker, the fact is that at the end of the day, people... Gentleman from Virginia. The gentleman will say his point of order. Yes, ma'am. Point of order. The gentleman said that there were lies on this floor here today. Looking over this direction, I ask that those words be taken down. We may have a disagree disagreement of, on, a, on matters, but. Mr. Mann, it's not timely. The, the, no, the gentleman's man not, was not timely. You didn't uh, register. An, an appropriate time. The gentleman will proceed. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, the fact is that at the end of the day. Yeah, look, you, look, talk, you sad, say that about true. me every single day. So the truth just hurts. Hold your tongue. The gentleman will proceed. It hurts. Okay. It hurts them. It hurts this country. It hurts all of us. But the fact is that the people have made this country work by not giving in. Go ahead, shout it out. Say the gentleman is true. not in order. The gentleman will proceed. The gentleman will proceed. One last thing to say, Madam Speaker, and I thank you for your patience. 
All people need to know, all they need to know tonight, Madam Speaker. There'll be order in the House. There'll be order in the House. There'll be order in the House. The gentleman will cl clear this chamber. The gentleman will clear the chamber. The gentleman will proceed. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The truth hurts. But the fact is this. We want this government to work more than they want it to fail. And after everything that's happened today, we want that more than ever. Know that. Know that, the people watching at home. We want this government to work. We will make it work. They will not make it fail. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield back. Thank you,